Shen here, the rock nerd. Yes, that's me. I am the rock nerd. And I just kind of wanted to share a little bit of information. Um, you know, I started this project uh, doing the YouTube and the YouTube, <laughs> doing YouTube and um, my website. And it's something that I thought, okay, I'm getting away from just taking a break from from writing and enjoying my other passion which is studying rocks and it used to be just admiring them and touching them and watching and knowing how that just because something may look plain on the outside if you put it if you break it open it's very it's very beautiful um, it's like people you cut through that hard rock and then you can see a beauty inside even what may look like a plain old stone or pebble if you cut it in half you know um, good enough to you know I, I use a um, a very uh, a handsaw I have a precision tools where I can polish and things like that um, it's um, not the tool you're thinking of um, but this is a, a a very similar rotary tool with different attachments and I um, I really like it and I have to be careful because um, not only do I have rheumatoid arthritis but I have tremors and so if you see me shaking um, at different points in any of the videos that is not necessarily unstable camera it's just an unstable body uh, anyways um, I have a lot of health issues and so I am trying I live for the moment because you never know what's going to happen and when I I started rediscovering my love for rocks and don't get me wrong I have loved them all my life I mean even when I if I go someplace and it's something special I'll find a rock and put it in my pocket sorry um, and it has to kind of be interesting I'm not talking about a piece of gravel from somebody's driveway or decorative stones not that they aren't beautiful around the garden or you know rocks they just throw down and roll over when they're um, creating um, trails or roadways um, I find one that's unique and um, just sometimes it's just plain pretty or it's the look and feel of it is something that's different from the other stones around it um, and that just kind of brings it to um, you know I pick it up and I like oh I remember where I found this and probably in I don't know could be tomorrow I'll look at those same rocks and I won't know but I'll know that they're important and sometimes you may not know things with your head but you will know things within your heart and I want my kids to always my boys to know that no matter what I still um, and I still have things that I'm passionate about sometimes you you look for your purpose in life my purpose I had many my purpose was to survive several instances where I could have died um, to be the mother of my sons to take care of them to the best of my ability to reunite and build a relationship with my father that was estranged um, it was this well, when I was a kid it was a terrible relationship as I got older we were just estranged after, after a while uh, I basically after mom died I, I took care of them made sure things were going good and then I had to move on um, I don't think we liked each other at that point in time but then we got to uh, years later I went back after all the garbage happened in my life and I built a 
hu uh, human, yeah, <laughs> an adult relationship with my dad, and it turned out that we had a lot of interest. Um, my father has an IQ of 162, and that was um, after uh, he was a teenager and had an accident. Um, and so if he didn't have that head injury, he probably would have been a very smart man, smarter than he is now. Um, my dad's like the go-to guy for, or he was the go-to guy for, Dad, um, I'm looking into this. Do you have a book about this? And he would go over and look at his shelves and, oh, I have this. Or he'd be like, no, but I'll buy you one. <laughs> um, and that's kind of what we did. We, we traded, my dad loved nonfiction books, so he thought Bob Newhart is the funniest man on this planet. No, at this point in time, my father is, is still alive, but he has progressive dementia, so he doesn't know me. Um, if he did, he would be very interested in the work that I'm doing now, even if it's just the research part. Um, but he likes to learn new things. He's always, it's been like me, you know, except he gets bored. <laughs> okay, I think I know as much as I need to know, so then I'll move on. Um, now I just, I supply him with magazines that he likes, you know, Smithsonian, New Yorker, Time, Newsweek, things that are, um, that can stimulate his mind, even if it's just through reading and he has no idea what uh, anyone else is around you. Because it just seems that when you have dementia, the first things you start to forget is the people who are in your life. Um, you forget who they are. So, um, as he thinks of me as the lady who sends him magazines, that's perfectly fine with me. And I know I'm, I'm getting off on the tangent and I do that because I have so much up here and I want to get it out. Um, my dad once said I was the smartest person that he knew. And to me, that was a compliment, considering he and his older brother, who had passed away, have very extremely high IQs. Mine's okay, but it's not in the genius range. Anyways, um, but really, intelligence is something that was always important to me. Um, being able to learn and learn from your mistakes, learn from other people's mistakes, um, and also figure out what your life means. People ask, what's the meaning of life? Um, you make your life for you and then take care of those around you and show kindness and tenderness and love and trust. Trust above all else and always be kind whenever possible even if someone is treating you like garbage. Well, if they're trying to kill you, you know, don't say have a nice day. But, you know, someone who's in a bad mood, if you're nice to them, sometimes it makes them even madder because they want you to get, they want to pick a fight. Okay, back to rocks. Now, rocks are a lot like, like people. They evolve and sometimes they're they start out with, they're just sediment on the ground floor of an ancient sea, or they're in the magma that hasn't yet set and rose to the earth. Now, magma, you know, it's the hot, liquidy, burn you alive in an instant underground once it finds its way up to the surface and explodes through a volcano, erupts, then it becomes lava. And then when the lava cools, it creates rocks. And uh, many times they're porous rocks. And But sometimes the rocks are, it's so hot that when it, you know, comes in contact 
with something like sand um, and could have a chemical reaction because if you, if you have the right kind of sand and you melt it at a certain point and I don't remember the name of it or the, the degrees of that um, but something I'll find out um, you can get obsidian rock and what that does is it when it's cooled it looks like pieces of glass so there are times when you may go rock hunting or fossil hunting and you see what looks like a black or a blue piece of glass and I know this because I've done it I've inadvertently thought oh this is glass why do I have this and I chuck it and it turns out that it was not glass but it was created to look like glass and it even looked like the, the properties of glass um, but it was because the sand was melted to such a high degree that it became glass-like. Um, a lot of obsidian rock, they um, are black. Um, some, depending on how they were chipped away, because you have to be very careful because obsidian rock um, is very sharp. and to harvest it, harvest, uh, to unveil it, um, you have to be very careful. And I have a, a few in my collection and they actually look like an arrowhead. Um, so that can be very interesting as well. Um, so I plan on um, providing information um, about rocks and um, minerals and ores and gems and the properties of those as well as sharing um, various videos on the Adirondacks, um, maybe the Catskills, you know, local areas um, that are close to my home. Um, uh, I have a, there in my area there are nature preserves, there are rivers and um, creek beds and a lot of interesting things that I hope that I will be able to get out and show. Right now it is January 2024 and yesterday it was 10 degrees and I know that because even though I bundled up to go outside with my mobility scooter so I could go to the store, even though I was bundled up, it was so cold. My legs were so cold I was afraid that I just wanted to get home. And of course, people don't shovel the walkways, so my mobility scooter gets stuck. Um, not a lot of rocks to see um, driving down the sidewalk, but um, as the warmer weather uh, comes, maybe in a month or two, I'm going to try to start getting out a little more, maybe just myself, or having my, uh, my sons take me to places uh, that are nearby but that I can't go to on my own. Um, I'm not driving down the side of the road on a highway um, unless it's got a sidewalk. Um, anyway, so this is just part of my story and what I want to share and I hope that some of the stuff that I share with you is interesting and that it's fun. Um, I'm going to have fun putting my projects together. Um, it's like when I write, I come up with a concept and then I just get down and I do it. Doing the, um, this particular project, I am going to do a lot of planning because I need to study the topography and the depths and elevations of the Adirondack Mountains and then also de determine what scale they would be um, and try to do that the best that um, I can. And I think that's um, going to be a project worth, worth watching. And then I will do the project and eventually once it's complete I will put the whole project series on YouTube. So this has been Amy Shannon the Rock Nerd and I hope you turn in, tune in next time. Hi, this is Amy Shannon, the rock nerd.
And if you enjoyed the video that you just saw, you can leave a comment and also be sure to click subscribe on the YouTube channel. And if you click that little bell, it looks like a little bell, you can get notifications every time that uh, videos will drop. And also, if you go to my website, rocknerdamy.com, um, you can subscribe there and you'll get um, some of my blog posts. And anytime there's an update, I'll be posting uh, my, my videos also on my website, also other information and images and more information about geology, rocks, minerals, ge gems, you name it. I'm going to talk about it or provide you with information about it. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm the only one in the world who likes rocks. So remember, geology rocks. <sighs> so terrible. Anyway, it does. Hashtag geology rocks. Hashtag rock nerd. See you next week.